Gaffer, um, a significant afternoon for the club, both on and off the pitch on Saturday. It is. Well, well first and foremost, it's only right we talk about the great man, that loft house and the statue that's going to be going up before the game. You know, it's someday, you know, when you mention this football club, his name comes straight to the front of it. Uh, the record speaks for itself. You know, his family will be there, which is fantastic. And it's someday that we'll never forget. It's also someday for the current day players they can look upon in terms of it's such high standards they set on and off the field. So, fantastic tribute to the great man, which is great for our football club. Uh, and then towards the game, such is a good game for us, you know, live on the telly, to put ourselves up against against a team again that I believe will be up in the top two or three teams. So, you know, at the end of the game, we'd have played, I believe, in you know, Nottingham Forest and Reading and, uh, and QPR teams that will be straight up there and, and see where we are against them. What's the latest on Chris Eagles and, and David Ngog? Yeah, unfortunately, you know, we are at this particular moment struggling with injuries. You know, we can't hide the fact that Chris Eagles and David haven't trained uh, all of this week, so it's, it's difficult for us uh, to throw them right in. Andre Maritz is not fully fit. You know, so right now we are down to bare bones. It's such a shame because I believe that you know, when playing these top teams, Cooper and Forest, if we have got our strongest team out there, that we will give anybody a game. I think you've seen that in parts of the game, periods of the game that we've controlled and and pretty much like look, look, won in the game against Reading. But you know, it's, a, it's it's where we are right now. You know, as a football club, we've got to stay strong. It's happening to us at the beginning of the season, and we must make sure that, as I say, we, we stick together. One or two of the younger players get an opportunity and the fans get behind the younger players and, and make sure they feel comfortable in their roles. Is there any chance on either David or Chris playing at the weekend? Or? Uh, very undoubtful, you know, because they haven't trained all week. It's, uh, it's not my kind of style where they've thrown somebody in there. Uh, for many reasons, first and foremost for their fitness levels. Uh, but if there's any chance, obviously I will, I will, I will try and risk them because it's such a big game. But by not playing it, it makes it very slim for us. You know, we've also missing Darren Prattley today. You know, Stuart Holden got the call up. Uh, got the call two or three games be days before the season started. He was, he was going to be missing for six or seven months. So we're having a difficult moment right now. But this is the time we all stick behind each other, get behind each other. You know, understand where we are and and and, and give the guys that are going to have an opportunity, the younger players, uh, the full support that they need. It's important that everybody's pulling in the right direction, both on and off the pitch, with the, the think, fans as well. Yes, I think so. I think the fans are great. I think the fans understand exactly where we're coming from. I think the fans know that. If we've got a strong team out there, you know, in the way we played against Red in the first half, you know, we're capable of beating anybody. I mean, also fans understand what I'm trying to do with it, with the with the young kids, Robert Hall and young Sammy coming playing, and Josh Fell and Tom Eaves. And I, I'm, I'm sure that you know when 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 the time's right, you know, these young players will be playing for the football club on a regular basis. But it's difficult for them right now, and they and they, and, they, and they need that full support, which I'm sure the fans will give them. You had a chance to go watch the, the under 21s earlier this yeah, week. Yeah, I did. Fantastic. Really good. There's one or two players there that seem to be coming through. You know, we bought a couple of players in the summer. You know, young Aidan White and, and young Connor Wilkinson for you know minimum money. Young Bill just coming on as well. So it's certainly something I believe at the club. You know, I've said before, if I've got an injury, I want to call on the development squad. I don't want to call on going to buy players. It's not really my style. I think it gives you it gives you a football club. You know that closeness. That, that, that we need uh, so yeah I'm a firm believer in trying to develop and you know that's going okay under Jamie Fullerton right now What do you expect from QPR? Tough game they come uh, we have very a lot of experience you know Harry Redknapp's bought very well this summer in terms of his players good season pros that you know are still capable of playing in the division at the right age at the right you know right time in their careers you know so it's going to be difficult for us they're on a bit of a high in terms of the squad last minute last week and, uh, and they've got a fully fit squad as well. So, as I say, it's going to be very difficult for us, but it's a challenge. It's a challenge that I'm looking forward to. It's a challenge that we need to embrace and a challenge that I believe, if we can set up in the right way, we'll give them a game. You know, such games in this division are very, very close. So we need to make sure we're on the right side of the result this week. Looking forward to it? I am looking forward to it. It's something that, you know, when you get to... Pick your wits against uh, an experienced manager that had a red nap, you know, and try and make sure he doesn't get one off you his team selection or the formation. It's something I'm, I'm looking forward to that challenge, as is as is the player. So, you know, I'm, I'm pretty sure come Saturday, the, the, the this club fans, players, as I said, it's their team will all come together and support your club.